50 megapixel camera and a 30 megapixel selfie camera, a 90 hertz display, a 5000 mAh battery, and a glass back. Does this qualify as the best Techno Spark device yet? Let's find out. This is my review of the Techno Spark 10 Pro. Let's get it. Starting from 2100 Ghana City, the Techno Spark 10 Pro looks like a very capable device that a lot of people are going to be picking up. In this video, we're going to break this down to let you know everything you need to know if you decide to pick this up. Getting straight to it, let's see what comes in the box. You are greeted with the phone. Let's put that aside for a moment. A transparent silicone case, a 12 month warranty card, an 18 watt charger with a type A connecting port, a type C to A connecting cable, an earpiece with a 3.5 connecting jack and a SIM card injector pin. And now the phone. Pretty much everything that comes inside the box. For design, this has plastic rails with a glass finish at the back. This is a frosted feeling bag that makes it very easy to hide fingerprints no matter what you do. The sides are flattened all around that makes it very easy for the phone to stand without support which is really cool. At the back you also get what looks like a triple camera setup but we are going to talk about that later on in the video. In the hand this feels really good as you can see the sides are not sharp so it's actually very comfortable in the hand. Maybe it could be a little sleepy so make sure you put it in the silicone case that comes also in the box. On the right side, you get a volume rocker and a power button that doubles as a fingerprint sensor. Both are clicky and tactile. The fingerprint sensor is actually really fast and makes it very easy to get into your device. At the bottom part, you get a USB Type-C port, a microphone, a 3.5 headphone jack, something we don't see much in 2023. And on the side, you get a dual SIM card tray that supports an SD card for extra storage. Nothing at the top. For the colors, we get a starry black, pearl white, and lunar eclipse. In summary, when it comes to design, I'm actually going to give Techno an A for this because I think it looks and feels really good. I actually really like the flattened off sides. It makes it very easy for it to stand and I like it. The glass at the back too makes it feel really premium. So for the design, this costs an A in my books. Now let's talk about the display. This is a 6.7 inch Full HD panel. It has a punch hole camera at the top. It has 1080p when it comes to resolution and a 90Hz refresh rate. The screen to body ratio is 90% and a touch sampling rate of 270 and gets by to about 580 nits when it comes to the central brightness. Pretty decent for a mid-range device when it comes to specs. Coming from a dual drop selfie camera that was in the previous iteration, that is the Spark 9, I actually like the poncho camera that comes on this one. The colors look vivid and punchy. It's a full HD panel with good sharpness. It gets bright enough when you're using it indoors, you have no issue with that, but it's not the brightest when it comes to the outdoor usage. For YouTube videos, this can only go up to 1080p 60fps because it's a 1080p panel. The single firing speaker at the bottom is not the greatest. Thank God it came with an earpiece in the box so you can actually pop it in and enjoy your content comfortably. Watching YouTube videos or enjoying content on here was actually a delight. The punctual camera at the top actually makes it look really nice and the colors, the vividness, how bright it gets when you're inside. The display is actually decent for a mid-range device of this price. For performance, you get a Helio G88 with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The RAM can actually be expanded to 16GB using memory fusion. And you can choose between 3, 5 or 8GB to add up to your 8GB making it about 16GB for RAM only. It also comes with Android 13 with high OS version 12.6. And this comes with a couple of pre-installed applications that you can actually uninstall if you don't like. It feels smooth and fast in comparison to last year's iteration, that is the Spark 9. This is definitely faster than the Spark 9 due to the 90Hz refresh rate that is found on here. And when it comes to performance, I did game on this a little bit. I did play Call of Duty at high frame rates and this is how the gameplay looked like. And for benchmark scores, this is what is scored when it comes to Geekbench score. This is also definitely faster than last year's iteration that is the Spark 9 Pro. 
All in all, when it comes to performance, I think this has been decent. In comparison to last year's Pack 9 Pro, this is actually fast mainly because of the 90Hz refresh rate that is found on here. I played some Call of Duty and the device didn't get so warm to the touch and the gameplay was actually smooth. For battery life, you get a 5000 mAh battery built into this device and it supports 18 watts of super fast charge. And depending on your usage, you can easily get a full day of use from this guy. And if you are charging this with a charger that comes inside the box, this actually fully charges in about 1 hour and 55 minutes. Check out my charging test video which I'm going to link above. Now let's talk about the cameras. The selfie camera here is a 30 megapixel sensor and these are some pictures that I got from it. It does a good job at replicating skin tones. When it comes to the main sensor, this is a 50 megapixel main sensor and this also produced some really decent pictures. Dynamic range was also good. Colors were okay too. This is a low light sample picture and as you can see, it does an amazing job at making it very bright and very visible. And for the selfie cam, you also get flashlight at the front. So if you find yourself in a low light scenario, you can actually use this to light yourself really well. So this is where I personally think the camera shines the most, the front selfie camera. This is a 32 megapixel sensor and with all the optimization that I've seen, the colors seem to be okay. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is shooting in 2K 30 FPS. I know some bear decided to worry me, but yeah, this is how it looks. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Let's get it. So in summary, what do I think about the new Techno Spark 10 Pro? When it comes to design and build, I actually like it. When it comes to the display, I actually enjoy the fact that they put a 90Hz refresh rate in here. All in all, for the starting price of this, I think this is actually a really cool device to pick up if you're looking for a mid-range device. If you're looking for a mid-range device that feels really premium to use, it has a really nice design. I really like the flattened off size. The camera design at the back is really popular for most devices. So I think people are going to like that. All in all, this feels good in the hand. It performs really decently. If you're looking for a device that is not going to break your bank, that is actually very affordable. This is something that you can definitely be looking out for. So this brings me to the end of my review of the Techno Spark 10 Pro. Let me know what you think about this device in the comment section down below. If you're new to this channel, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm out.